Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Honestly, at this point I'm new here too. I am back with a very special treat for you guys. Just as my way of saying thank you for trying to support me through whatever changes I have been trying to make over the last year, but also all of the support that I have gotten once I unprivated my Sam and Colby fan fiction videos. I get it. I get it. You guys love them. And for good reason. I love Sam and Colby. And apparently I love some good fan fiction. Now, I essentially stopped this series because I was having a really hard time filming them. Just like talking and being on camera for like such a long time was something that I didn't know how to like get over. But I've been creating content on TikTok for over a year now, and I feel a lot more comfortable on camera. I feel a lot more comfortable speaking, reading, however, may still be a struggle. So if it is, leave me alone. We'll get through it. Okay. Now, I also told myself I was not allowed to upload any of these until I had a decent amount of them filmed. So that way I can at least have a little bit of consistency for you guys for the next couple of months. Give myself enough break in between each filming to kind of get my mojo back. I That's not the right wording I wanted to use, but it's fine. You guys get what I mean. I do, however, have some bad news. We're not just going to be doing Sam and Colby as much as I love Sam and Colby. To keep my attention, we're going to have to switch it up. So if there are any other fan fiction people, any other people fan fiction is written about that you guys want me to read, did that make any sense at all? If there's any other fan fiction you guys want me to read besides just Sam and Colby, definitely leave it down in the comments below so that way um, I can find some good ones. I do have some ideas for a couple, but we'll see. Something that I've never really thought of is the potential for, I was going to say any of these people, but obviously I've only read fan fiction about Sam and Colby. The potential for like Sam and Colby or anybody else that I read about in the future finding these videos. If you search reading fan fiction on YouTube, there's, I feel like there's really not that like many videos um about it. So in the event, anybody that I read these stories about sees this, please remember that this is just fan fiction, totally fiction, totally made up. The author and everything will be down in the description below. Please do not go to any of these people's social media and like be weird or anything. It's the same thing if I were to say, please do not go and leave hate on anybody's social media platforms. Don't do the same thing with fan fiction. Okay. That's not what we're here for. Not that anybody has, but you never know. The internet has gotten really wild over the last year. Um, and people are not scared of commenting anymore, I guess. So also just as another disclaimer by me reading these stories, um, this is not me making fun of these stories in any way possible. I may point out some grammar issues or something, but most likely it's just because it tripped me up. If you read any of my writing, oh my God, I can't understand half of it. So for all of these stories to be like published on Wattpad it is incredible. All credits to the author. I am just reading them for funsies. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. So we thought as a fun way to kind of jump back in without overwhelming myself too much, we are going to read Imagines. Now, I know I had mentioned wanting to read Imagines, but obviously I never got that far, but that's okay because we're here now. So for anybody that doesn't know what an Imagine is, because I did not until uh, I heard Brittany Broski and Sarah Shower talk about it on their podcast, an Imagine is a short fic or descriptive passage. I hate that I just said fic. Usually written in second person. So you instead of her slash him, whatever, you get that and pairing the reader with another character. They can be as short as a single sentence. A one shot is a one and done story. So obviously we're going to do some Sam and Colby ones because why wouldn't we? All right. This one is called, Can You Keep Up Colby Brock slash reader? I would assume that means it's like imagines. And this is by, funny enough, two girls holding hands. Sam, Colby whisper yelled. I swear to God, there's someone upstairs. Looking at the camera, Sam silently pondered their best move. Well, let's hide for a few and we'll see if we hear anything else. We'll be back in a few minutes, guys. He then shut off the camera. 
Over here, Colby led Sam to a dark corner of the abandoned building. I don't hear anything, but I swear I've seen a flashlight like three times, Colby explained to Sam. Maybe it's just another kid, like us. We run into other explorers all the time, Sam replied. The duo waited it out. After not seeing or hearing anyone for about 10 minutes, they turned the camera back on. We're going to try to get to the roof to place our sticker. We're just going to try to be extra quiet just in case we run into someone, Colby said, passing the camera back to Sam. They made it to the top floor, circling the different rooms, trying to find a way to the roof. See that? Colby pointed towards the collapsed staircase. Guys, I don't think we're going to make it to the roof. Is there no other way up? Sam asked, shining his flashlight around. I mean, it looks like we can climb those bricks, but then we'd have to jump all the way to that platform, Colby replied, his tongue sticking out of his mouth and a look of concentration on his face. You're the ninja, Sam laughed. Fuck it, I'll try, Colby said, taking off his backpack and making sure his shoes were tied tight. If I make it, you can chuck me our stuff and try to climb up. On his first attempt, Colby misstepped and skinned his shin, landing back on the concrete ground. Oh, fuck. That hurt, he yelled, his legs stinging too much for him to stay quiet. Hello? The boys heard a girl call out. I'm carrying protection. You don't want to mess with me. I told you there was someone else here, Colby whisper yelled. He looked down and realized his hand and chin were covered in blood. Oh, poor Colby. I'd clean your wounds for you. And I'm queasy. Hello? Sam called out. We aren't here to hurt anyone. We're just filming a YouTube video. Dead ass, the girl chuckled. I swear on my life, Colby called back out, laughing at her odd response. You don't happen to have a Band-Aid or something, do you? Hearing Colby mention a Band-Aid, Sam looked down to finally see Colby's injury. Oh, shit. Are you okay, dude? The girl looked down, the two guys unaware they were being watched. They look harmless, she thought. Cute, even. Same. She jumped down from the platform Colby had been trying to get to, scaring the shit out of both of them. Jesus Christ, you almost gave me a heart attack, Colby half shouted, leaning back against the wall and placing his hand over his heart. Hearing her laugh, he looked her up and down. She was a curvy girl, that's for sure. Cute style. How the fuck did she make it up there? The, what is that supposed to mean? Colby thought, his pride slightly wounded. She had on black skinny jeans and a baggy black tank top with holes in it. Underneath, you could see what looked like a black sports bra. A few tattoos sprawled across her skin. By the looks of the bloody handprint you just left on your shirt, I don't think a band-aid would help you much, the girl said, concern on her face. Colby realized he had been staring at her and blushed. What happened? She asked, kneeling down by Colby and opening her bag. He was trying to jump to the platform you just effortlessly jumped off of, Sam snarked, still filming, showing the platform with the flashlight. Hey, Colby laughed. It was my first try. I would have made it up there. I'm sure you would have, stud, she laughed. Can I take a look? Pet names already, baby. You can look at anything you want. See, he's like little things like that. Little things like that make me so uncomfortable and I don't know why. Colby tried to say in a sexy voice, but he hissed when he tried pulling his jeans to the side to see the wound. Is this what he does when he's in pain or is he like this all the time? She looked at the camera laughing and then at Sam. It's probably a mix of both, honestly. Sam laughed. I'm Sam. He introduced himself. My name, ooh, it's YN. You know what? We're going to be a little spicy. We're going to use my name. No, we're not. No, we're not. Um, Cammie. My name is Cammie, she replied. What's yours? Oh, why did I say it like that? They're not, they're not necessarily flirting yet. My name is Cammie, she replied. What's yours? She asked, looking at the injured boy. Cute. Definitely cute. Uh, Miss Cammie better back off. It's literally about, uh, this is happening to us. I don't know why I'm being so selfish. Colby, he replied. Cammie, I'd shake your hand, but as you can see, he waved his bloody hand in the air. Well, Colby, how do you feel about me cutting the hole in your jeans bigger? She asked. You already ripped through a little when you fell. No way. These are the jeans I wore to our first bando. The fuck is a bando? Then your options are to continue bleeding until you possibly pass out or take them off. She laughed, opening the first aid kit she always kept in her bag. Ooh, I do always be keeping first aid kit stuff in my bag. Oh, trying to get me naked, Colby smirked. No, I tend to go for dudes who can keep up with me. Cammie stared into his blue eyes with a smirk on her face. 
Sam laughed, turning the camera on himself. I normally say that Colby has the upper hand in any flirting situation, but I think he's met his match. Dude, why are you filming me losing my dignity? Colby laughed, trying to shimmy out of his jeans. Oh, he is taking his jeans off. I could keep up with you. Catch me up and I'll prove it, he cockily said, finally getting his jeans over the gash in his leg. Adrenaline was coursing through him, so even though he was in pain, he felt like he had a lot of energy. Can't relate. Okay, pumpkin, I'll even give you a head start, Cammie joked. This is going to sting a little bit, she said, spraying some rubbing alcohol on the wound so she could wipe it clean. Uh, insert a bunch of explicitives, Colby said, swearing as quietly as he could. Sorry, she replied, giving him a sympathetic look. Good news, you didn't go down to the bone. Bad news, you're gonna need stitches. She reached into the first aid kit, grabbing some butterfly bandages. You know what I've always wondered? How do you know when you need stitches? Like, I feel like I've gotten some paper cuts that have hit pretty deep. But like, is it by depth? Is it by the opening of the wound? Is it by the amount of blood that's coming out? How do you know when you need stitches? I've never had stitches. If you've had stitches, let me know how you knew in the comments below. How did you even cut yourself that bad? Sam asked, dragging his flashlight along the wall, looking for where Colby busted his shin. Oh shit, he said, walking towards a piece of metal sticking out of the wall. Your blood is all over this. Ooh, jeez, babe. Ugh, Cammy said, looking up at the metal bracket hanging out of the wall. Uh, I didn't even see it. Colby replied. His mouth had gone dry the second Cammy used another pet name, so he kind of stuttered before regaining his posture. Fuck, that hurts. Colby shot his hand out, gripping her shoulder. I know it sucks, but if it starts to heal open, you'll have a big nasty scar and they may not give you the stitches you need. It'll take twice as long to heal, she reassured him. Why don't you talk? It'll distract you, Cammy suggested. Oh, wait a second. Is this girl about to give him stitches? Are we about to give Colby Brock stitches? I don't know how to give stitch. I don't even know when you're supposed to have stitches. What should I talk about? Colby grimaced as she pinched the wound together to add another butterfly bandage. Okay, I'm sure I've already added it in text, but trigger warning just in case you are queasy or anything. Tell me about yourself, Cammie replied. Sam put the camera on the ledge to continue recording the scene in front of him and sat down next to Colby's leg to shine his flashlight on the wound so Cammie could see better. I don't know what to say, Colby replied. He realized he had been squeezing her shoulder and quickly retracted his hand. Sorry, didn't mean to grab you. Don't worry, sweetheart. You didn't hurt me or anything, Cammy said in a soothing voice. That was not a soothing voice I just gave you. Tell me why you make YouTube videos, she continued. Well, Sam and I were really bored with the normal life bullshit. Colby said, using air quotes. We knew there was something more out there for us. He hissed, feeling Cammy pinch another section of the wound. And we wanted to help people, he continued. I mean, I know you probably don't believe it, but the sexy specimen before you used to be a lost, insecure nobody, he laughed. Sam chuckled, watching Colby ramble. Colby, nobody is a nobody, Cammy said, looking up at him. And it doesn't matter how sexy you are, everyone is insecure. Letting her gaze linger for a few seconds longer than she intended, she looked back down and continued patching up his leg. Way to make things serious for no reason, Cammy. He's gonna think you're a freak, she internally kicked herself. You're right, Colby's voice caught in his throat. I felt like a nobody. Sam and I found each other and suddenly I wasn't so lost anymore. Together we kind of made this goal, this plan to be something bigger than what we were. Once we realized that a lot of our fears and hangups were just in our heads, we wanted to help other people get out of that place. He hissed in pain when she got to a slightly worse part of the gash. Two more butterfly bandages. Oh, she's not giving him stitches. These are butterfly bandages. Okay. Two more butterfly bandages and I'll wrap your leg up. You're almost there, Cammie reassured him, smiling up at him. It's cool that you guys wanted to help people. Kids need someone to look up to that they can relate to. I'm sorry, I love Sam and Colby, but they are not relatable whatsoever. It's crazy, we're friends now with some of the people we looked up to, Colby laughed. We were 100% balls deep committed to our plan, but we never thought we'd make it as far as we have. I This was probably written so long ago, and it it's honestly crazy how far they've come. Have you guys, did anybody get to go to the premiere at the AMC theaters uh, for their YouTube video? Because I'm so sad. Even though they're from Kansas City, there was no showing in Kansas City. No, oh, I take it you guys are pretty big on YouTube, she asked, finishing up the bandaging by wrapping his leg in an ace bandage to help keep the smaller bandages in place. 
We do all right, Colby smirked at her. I meant to ask earlier, but are you okay if we post this on our channel? Sam asked, walking back to the camera. Sure, she replied. You can put your pants back on now, Colby. He laughed. I kind of forgot I wasn't wearing any. She helped him stand so he could carefully slip them over the bandages. It already feels so much better, he said, kind of swaying on his feet. Fuck, I feel dizzy. Yeah, you lost quite a bit of blood there, cutie. <laughs> Let's not have you fall and hurt yourself again, she said, putting on her backpack and throwing his arm over her shoulder. Did you guys drive here? No, we ordered an Uber, Sam said, slinging on his own backpack and grabbing his phone to order another car. Well, this one probably needs to go to the ER, so why don't I just drive you guys there, she offered. Colby was leaning quite a bit of his weight on her now that the adrenaline had left his system. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, that would literally be perfect, Sam replied, turning his flashlight towards the direction they needed to walk to get out. Are you sure you've got him? He asked. Uh, you know, I don't care how much I love Colby. I would expect Sam to be over there on the other side helping me carry his friend. I've got him. Don't worry. Cammie looked over at Colby and realized he was staring directly back at her. Oh, she's got me all right, Colby half slurred, smiling. The three of them slowly and safely made their way back down to the bottom level. They walked the long way around the field so that Colby didn't chance tripping over the holes in the dirt and grass. All right, let's get you laid down in the back, Colby, Cammie said, hitting the unlock button on her car's key fob. Don't make me sit alone, Colby said, getting into the back seat, but first so he didn't hit his leg. Oh, come on now. You were so cocky upstairs, Cammie laughed. Surely you can sit by yourself for 30 minutes while we get you to a hospital. You need the room to keep your leg elevated. I wasn't being cocky. I was being brave, Colby said, sticking his bottom lip out and crossing his arms. Well, keep it up, brave boy. I promise I'll sit with you in the waiting room, she said, pushing his hair out of the way and leaning down to kiss his forehead. Cammy, don't you fall for this boy, she thought to herself. <gasps> the I could never. I genuinely will never understand how people just flirt this good because you know there's people out there that are really like this. Anyways, and that is it for today's video. The outro looks a little different. I know, I'm so sorry. But I hope you enjoyed um, today's portion of the story. Like I said, the author and the story will both be linked in the description box below, as well as all of my social media and all of that kind of good stuff. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, so that way I know to keep making these kind of videos. Um, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all of my fan fiction and whatever it is we're doing over here on this channel. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.